everybody, it's Gil. Welcome back to another Grilling Tuesday. Today we're going to be doing something on the Blackstone Griddle Top. And this one's going to be a classic. I remember it as a kid. My mom used to always make Egg Foo Young. Here's how to do a classic Egg Foo Young on the Blackstone. So I've got the burners on out here on the Blackstone. The far right one is on low. I'm off at the second one. The next one over is uh, on low, and then I'm off. I want the right-hand side to be the hottest place possible, and I'm going to use that with a skillet that's going to be making the sauce that goes on. Next to that, I will use the alternating temperature between where the burner is and where it's not to get anywhere from about 375 degrees up to about 410. So I just went ahead and used my thermometer gun. I'm right now at about 450 on the far right. As I move to this middle burner that's off, I'm at 372, and then I'm at 420 over here on the, uh, the other burner that's on. So I think I'm in a pretty good position right there. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and make our gravy. If you know of egg foo young, it's always served, typically the egg foo young is over rice with a brown gravy on it. We're going to go ahead and get that gravy going here. To make this real easy, we have a cup of chicken stock. Get that on there and get this heating up. To that, we're going to add just a dash of white pepper. A lot of Asian recipes use white pepper for spice, just enough to taste. That's it. Mix that up a little bit. And to that, we're going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce and one tablespoon of either oyster sauce or hoisin sauce. I'm using hoisin sauce here because what I have. All right, just give that a nice stir. Give it with a little sauce in there. Just go ahead and grab some of your liquid. Use it, mix it around a little bit. So we're just going to let that go ahead and come up to a nice boil and simmer. And then we'll go ahead and add in a little bit of a slurry of cornstarch and water to thicken that up. While that's going, let's get the rest of this recipe moving along. Classic Egg Foo Young is a pretty simple set of ingredients. Always starts with bean sprouts, that's part of it. So in this bowl, I have a cup of bean sprouts. I've got some chopped up onions and peppers. This is actually left over from what we had from fajitas the other night. Perfectly fine, they were griddled, so they're already grilled, but they were cold, that's important. We don't want to have them hot when they go into this. I have about half a cup of chopped up cremini mushrooms, just because I like mushrooms in there. Uh, a little bit of a garlic, so just a, a one clove of pressed garlic, and that's optional. Uh, and then we happen to have some, uh, some sugar snap peas, so I cut up a few of those into small pieces, and we just put them right into this bowl. We're just going to go ahead and get this mixed up a little bit. To this, we're going to sprinkle in just a small amount of white pepper. Just for some taste, we want to add about one teaspoon of soy sauce. You can use low sodium or light if you prefer. The last part of egg foo young, as you can imagine, are eggs. So to this, we're going to add, it's called for about six eggs, but I think I'm going to do five and see what the consistency is. Okay, we just want to break the We're going to mix this up. We want this to be kind of a, uh, almost like a slurry. So I'm, I'm looking at this and I do not need another, another egg in here. This is a good consistency. Now classically in a Chinese restaurant, they would tend to do this in a deep fryer, a wok with the oil at 350 to 375 degrees. But we're gonna do it kind of called shallow frying right here on the griddle where we're gonna put the oil on, let it get up to a nice hot temperature. And we're gonna fry it right in place. See our little slurry you're doing here. It's looking pretty good. Stay nice and warm. We're going to get our oil on this. We want to get it nice and hot here. And I'm going to start in this hotter spot. And you notice I'm putting quite a bit of oil right over that burner. Now the best thing to do is have about a half a cup to a three quarter cup size ladle to use for this. Uh, I don't happen to have one, so I'm just going to use a one cup measuring cup here. It's about three quarters of the way full. And we're going to go ahead and just pour this right in place on the griddle. Make the next one a little bit smaller, I think. Now what I'm doing here is I'm letting this go ahead and firm up on the edges before I flatten it out a little bit. I want to get that edge like a fried egg, but kind of hold it in place so it doesn't run all over here. Spread this out a little bit so they're relatively even in size. You start to see it run. The best thing to do is just take this and fold it over a little bit, and sort of form a little bit of an egg wall. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and let that cook here. Just kind of get these slid over here. Start to 
little slower. I'm gonna put a little bit of a lid right on this guy. Doing that just to let the top of this cook a little bit more, and then we'll flip it over. We want to maintain it nice and fluffy. We don't want it to be uh, really dark on one side, like an overcooked omelet, if you will. So I'm going to take my gravy here, and I've got a little bit of a slurry. A slurry is just half and half of cornstarch and water. It's a classic and simple way to thicken something, and I have about one teaspoon of each here. I'm sitting in my little bowl, so it's starting to thick, uh, starting to harden up. So we're just going to go ahead and pour that right in here. This will begin to get thick now. Just want to stir that a little bit. Exactly what we're looking for there. that we get a nice little edge to keep it shape. So that's it, you serve it over a bed of rice and you add some of that gravy and sauce on top of it. It really is almost a requirement of the gravy. It is part of the part of it that just sort of really adds to the flavor. Let's give this a shot. A little bit of rice, a little bit of egg foo young. That's good. I bring back childhood memories. As I mentioned, my mom used to make this all the time when we were kids. Strangely enough, we have no no Chinese background, Irish, uh, full Irish and Bohemian, but we had egg foo young a lot as kids, and it was really good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's classic egg foo young recipe on a Blackstone griddle. It really is easy to make, tastes delicious, and you may just impress your friends and family. If you enjoyed this video, please do us a favor and go ahead and either like or subscribe to the video or the channel, and if you would, share it with somebody else that you think might find it useful as well. Have a great week, and everybody will see you next Tuesday on another grilling video. Safe grilling!